moment. Hopefully we'll see him again. Let's meet our next fighter. Please welcome the blue corner, Chona No. Time to get some big boys in here. Light heavyweight division showdown, Jonah Nope. Yeah, we do not get to see the uh, the light heavyweights often at all, not as pros, but especially not as amateurs. One thing I like about light heavyweights is they're big, but they're usually in good shape. Heavyweights can be big and in good shape, but heavyweights can also be big and not in good shape. <laughs> but you almost <laughs> never see an out of shape light heavyweight. Yeah, and, and, and in this case, both of them are both gigantic. Both big guys, uh, you know, on the call this morning with Rich Burmaster, the matchmaker, he was like, these might be the two biggest line heavyweights I've ever matched up, the most intimidating line heavyweights I've ever matched up against each other as amateurs. So, two very big guys, you know, both guys look like killers. Our buddy Andrew Craig over there in the corner. Andy Craig got to be one of the coolest dudes in the world. Yeah, I mean, he's always, always fun to be around. Shout out to Andy Craig. One of the true pioneers of Houston MMA. First guy to get signed to the UFC alongside Daniel Pineda, who's fighting tomorrow night. Nice. Yep. Yeah, Andrew Craig, that whole 10th Planet team down there in Austin, uh, where Andrew trains now. Unbelievable guys. Zach Moore, Curtis Hembrock, uh, Gabe Tuttle, all those guys. Hopefully we'll see them in the crowd here tonight. All right, let's go inside to meet his opponent. Miguel Ochoa. Miguel Ochoa, get ready for a show. We saw him last time we were in San Antonio earlier this year in January. The mustache, you remember, yeah, he but he the, also just he, moves forward. He had the crazy eyes. He was yeah, wide yeah. eyed. The whole Never fight, it was awesome. He's like in wonderment of his own fight. It was excellent. <laughs> Same way right now. Like, he's psyching me out. Yeah, we, we talked about this. This dude looks like a straight serial killer. I mean, the last time we saw him fight, that's all we could talk about. That's all we could look at. We were mesmerized by how mesmerized he was by the fight <laughs> because he never blinked. Also a big guy. You know, this dude is, is a silent killer, man. He always has those wide eyes and always moving forward and can take a punch like very few men I've ever seen. You see Anthony Ivey in this corner? Yeah. So Ivey, he got a, a victory in his last outing at Cowboys for Fury in San Antonio just a few months ago. Miguel training out of Ambush Muay Thai here in San Antonio. Miguel also coming off that win against Ray Panic. How are you doing, Anthony? Good to see you. He got his opponent so bloody that Eric Garcia and Wayne had to back up. That was that line. <laughs> Remember that? And they had to actually take a step back because there's so much blood flying. Let's go inside for our official introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, your next fight, brought to you by OnlyFans, is scales over three rounds in the Fury Amateur Series Light Heavyweight Division. Introducing your first competitor, fighting out of the blue corner. This mixed martial artist stands six feet two inches tall, and he weighed in officially at 204.4 pounds. Fighting out of Austin, Texas. Tonight, he looks for his first win as an amateur. This is Jonah North. <laughs> and introducing his opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. This freestyle fighter stands six feet three inches tall, and he weighed in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of San Antonio, Texas, he holds an amateur record of one win, no losses. This is Miguel Ochoa. Your referee in charge, Frank Colazzo. Our tail of the tape brought to you by OnlyFans. You see that slight height advantage and reach advantage for Miguel Ochoa. And also stare advantage. A big heavy kick to start for Jonah. Blue gloves for Knopf and red for Ochoa. I mean, both guys are big. Jonah looks like an athlete. I mean, oh. as he just, I mean, technically tackles him with a beautiful double leg. Talk about running your feet. One of the best things you can do on singles, doubles, and high seas is once you get in position, just run your feet. Yeah, I don't even know if I would call that a double leg, Alex. That was a that was a tackle drill. <laughs> yeah. You take down a gunman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice punches as well from Jonah. Oh, hold on. I think there's a little bit of an eye poke, maybe. See. 
what Frank Colazzo is looking at. Yeah. Everything is good, making sure. Oh, he's Head warming down. for the knees, yeah. yeah. I can't believe he's asking Ochoa if he's okay. I can answer that from here. Yeah. Of course Miguel. he's okay. He's not phased at all. <laughs> no. Good little punk punch exchange for the guys. Ooh, oh, Ooh. John and Noah landed some big punches now. You can tell when guys have a really good athletic base when they throw punches and don't really lose position. It's something I work on with my coaches, like maintaining good form whilst fatigued. I'd be curious to see or hear what Jonah did prior to fighting. De de definitely an athlete. Oh, now that left arm creeping in a little bit. Trying to apply some pressure is Jonah. So, man, Jonah's got the chin strap. It chose not to guillotine and cross face instead, and then punch it under hook. Yeah, it looks like, you know, it, it's his left arm that he had the guillotine on, and, you know, if he's right handed, sometimes, Alex, that can be, you know, you're not so strong inside. So, even though it's underneath your, it's underneath the chin, you're thinking, mm, I don't know about this side. Yeah. If it was the other side, for sure, we'd dive for it, but. I think one of the best signs of, like, when you're in shape, shape, is that shoulder veins, when they start popping out, oh, yeah. like, you are, you're about that life. And you can see that right now in Jonah. Oh, big up right there. Jonah. Ochoa, he, he deals with chaos and punches so well. Yeah, you can see he never stops moving forward. And ooh, that kick slip. Oh, Good big up kick. Kick. And Ochoa just came with a haymaker and tried to, <laughs> he tried to end this fight time, just now. That was like the first time where we've seen him kind of just crack, right? Because that was, I mean, he came with some attitude on that one. And it wasn't as poised as he usually is. So I wonder if that bothered him a little bit. Big body shots from the top for Ochoa. Man, what a good first round. That was entertaining. He's some big guys, man. Yeah, these guys are causing some damage to this cage right now because, man, two big guys, two athletic guys going at it. Here's that big linebacker tackle here. Oh, man. Oh, man. He left his feet oh, man. four feet, landing a big punch there, nice uppercut. And then here we go, Ochoa, up, here's that up kick, good up kick. And then Ochoa comes with this, ah! <laughs> big hammer fist right to the gut. Very entertaining first round for both fighters. A little something to call. I think Noah probably won the first round, but no, Joe did end up on top for the to finish the round. Let's see what adjustments Miguel Ochoa is going to make. It's a really good round for Jonah. Oh, oh man. Oh, he's trying to kick him in the face. Oh, oh they are banging oh. inside. This is brought it out. Uh oh. Uh -oh. oh. 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 oh wow. Two big guys right there. I mean, hitting the mat. That made this whole venue shake. Man. Wow. Now, now, Ochoa had a, he's got a good little chin strap, but man, just the amount of force that came down on his sternum with Jonah's shoulder. Into the mount goes Jonah. Now, now, going to mount in a front headlock can can get you reversed. He's got to clear that hand. And he did it. Jonah's in a good spot. Jonah needs to rotate and get Ochoa's feet away from the cage. Yeah, Jonah losing the mount there, but right in the half guard, still on top. Again, got that left arm guillotine in there. Interesting to see if that's a strong side. Because both times he's chosen to let go of it, Alex. Man, I'd, I'd kill for a guillotine opportunity like that in a fight. Yeah. <laughs> Man, it's good run of the feet again. And just when you thought Miguel was going to be out of it and just took on a huge slam, things are looking a little bit better for 
the assassin. I don't want to call him a serial killer. <laughs> like, we need an assassin. <laughs> Something better. Oh, man. See Jonas fading a little bit. The yeah. muscle mass does come at a cost. Yep. And his oxygen. Yeah, he is definitely exhausted. And Ochoa is just allowing him to carry his weight. You see, he's just kind of throwing his body on him, making, him, making himself heavy. Is Ochoa going to come back and win this fight? Oh, my God, Ochoa. Ochoa's a little bit too far over the squarely over his back. I'd like to see him rotate just a little bit. You see, he's just yeah, get dumped yeah. over. Man, great he just needed to rotate a quarter of the way around his body, and then he's in a great punching position from there. You can see Nope wants to pull that head down into that knee again. He almost landed an illegal put. Ooh, nice uppercut there. Oh. <laughs> can we on the fly make this a pro fight, please, so we get a couple more minutes? Because this is awesome. And both of these guys are looking great for amateurs. Man, I don't know if they could go another two minutes in the round right now. <laughs> I think we may, we may witness... Two people just quitting right them at four oh. minutes if we decided oh. to go two more. Ochoa can take a punch, huh? Yeah, he can. Man, he just never stops moving forward. Five seconds left. Oh. One thing about Ochoa, I will say, he when he loads up, there's a lot, it's a lot of wasted movement. Yeah, yeah, man. One thing with Jonah, he, he shot a lot that round. And it's, it's such a weird psychological kind of puzzle. Because when you're tired, sometimes you want to shoot more. You shoot, it makes you more tired. And you can tell Jonah's kind of taking some, some desperation shots. Yeah, I think he's just burning his gas tank. That first big shot, Alex, Ochoa left room for about 10 seconds. And when he came back, he came back and... Hit him again, they tangled up, get this big, big double leg right there. I don't know how that didn't break any ribs for Ochoa. But Ochoa just keeps moving forward. These uppercuts are landing right square on the chin, Alex. And he just keeps moving forward. Jonah Nope is exhausted. All right, we get a third round. Did not expect that after that. Pace in the second round, but here we are, and we'll see if Jonah Nope or Miguel Ochoa can get a finish in their second fights as amateurs. Ooh. Oh, I mean, anyone's gonna go down at any, at any moment if these guys stand here and trade punches. They're all offense. Yeah, I'm kind of, you know, we're not talking right now. I'm kind of holding my breath because, I mean, you see Jonah land a few punches. And Ochoa just comes with the club right away. Yeah, that power is losing oh. for Jonah. Man, props to Jonah. He's got a crafty striking arse. I threw a question mark kick earlier in this round, a spinning back fist. Uh, honestly, though, what's going to give him the most damage and success is like basic boxing. Ones and twos. Yeah, and in this position, Alex, it'd be nice to see, you know, one of them going to the body. I mean, one of those body punches, whenever you're this exhausted, can be the difference in the fight. It can cause you to run. It can cause you to, you know, go straight down and just start covering, which is what one of these guys probably need is the other one to do if <laughs> they're going to win this at this pace. All right, so Cho used a little high C entry to, uh, to catch your body lock to the back. One of my favorite wrestling to jujitsu like position entries is that high C entry, the high crotch to the rear body lock. Ooh, now there's some power coming from Ochoa. What was, uh, did you guys see that Miguel was asking Frank Colazzo something? Yeah, there yeah I think Jonah may have been grabbing his gloves. Okay. I mean, that just, it's what, make, what makes most sense here. Okay. Hey, nice little take down there from Jonah. Just kind of like a seated trip. Hybrid, kind of on the fly takedown. Yeah, he found himself getting wrapped up and he kind of had that body lock tight. 
Again, Jonah uses the front headlock, but for like takedown defense and for sweeps. He had a couple good guillotine opportunities. You hear the San Antonio crowd trying to urge on their hometown fighter, Miguel Ochoa. If, if Jonah gets a reversal from here, he had to have wrestled. Because these grips are like only wrestling grips. Oh. oh. It didn't work out. He's mounted now with an arm pin. Now Cho needs to get nuts here. I mean, he can, he's in a good position to damage. He's getting hammer fisted. <laughs> Folks, this is our third amateur fight. I'm just going to tell you, that's the kind of energy we're going to be having here tonight in San Antonio. A whirlwind of a finish here. This kid, wow. This kid, oh, this is wow. going to be a mess by the end of the night. Yeah. <laughs> good fight for those guys. That was an entertaining one. Oh. Time to circle both of these names because those are two guys we're going to be watching for. We look at our round three highlights. <laughs> Watch it moving forward. A great start to the third round. It was all Ochoa at the end. How do you guys have to score unofficially? Uh, I don't know. I, I think maybe it's, it's two rounds to one. Jonah, no. Nope. I, I don't know. I, I, it could be it could be two rounds to one either guy, but I'm, I'm gonna go with Jonah No, um, just because I think he landed the better punches. Uh, I think he did the most damage in, in round one, of course. Uh, I think he definitely won round one. Yeah, and even whenever he got in trouble, you know, he, he was able to skirt damage. Uh, you know, it's, it's really hard to tell because both guys are exhausted, like exactly how much damage they did. So. Uh, but Miguel Ochoa constantly moving forward. I want to see him on every Fury fight card. <laughs> All right, let's see how the judges scored it. Wayne is inside. Take it away, Wayne. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of combat, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision brought to you by HKA USA. Judge Ray Campos scores the fight 29-28 Ochoa. Judge Ursulo Perez scores the fight 29-28, Knopf. And Judge Gino Garcia scores the fight 29-28, declaring her winner by split decision, Miguel Ochoa. You know, I'm glad to see Miguel Ochoa coming there and get a win. That's a very tough opponent uh, in Jonah Nope that he, he's gone against today. Good athlete. Can't wait to hope to see him in there again. Absolutely, man. That was a lot of fun. Good way to get us going. Again, the crowd is it's hot tonight. Let's be our next fighter.